new free games on Steam. Yes, please sign me up. Inside of this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys 15 games that have newly been released on Steam or newer released ones that are really good and still worth checking out. So let's dive into the list of 15 games that you could play right now for free on Steam. Starting off today's list is Service Blade. This game came out on August 3rd of 23, has very positive reviews, 93 of them, and we're looking at a dark fantasy action style game. This is a really cool looking action RPG style looking game that has a lot of that dark and dingy feel that's gonna make you really wanna dive into it and feel like you're in that realm that reminds me of a Diablo-like realm. The combat inside of the game is on point. The lore and story is also something to be mentioned because it's a game that's gonna allow you to have a deeper feeling rather than just going and slaying all of your enemies. But obviously we know that's the best part of it anyways, the combat. This one's available right now to play on Steam for free and it seems that the community is really enjoying it. Next on today's list is The Rifleman, which launched on September 1st, which as I'm recording this video is today. So far, 24 positive reviews have been dropped on this game. And what we're looking at here is a multiplayer shooter style game that gives you the ability to customize your weapons and go through tons of different combat situations along the way. The game's fun. The game is basic, which also means that it's more of a casual experience for you. With tons of different weapon styles that you can play with in the game, it's going to be sure to keep you entertained as you slay your opponents in a pixelated Call of Duty style game. We're looking at a multiplayer shooter, first person shooter actually, that is definitely a casual take on shooters. It's fun, it's enjoyable, and that's really all that matters. Next we have STG Football, a 4v4 multiplayer experience with very positive reviews released on August 29th, 2023. STG stands for Stuper Team Games Football, and we're talking about American football here. Guys, not soccer. It's a casual style sports or even esports game that has a good element of competition in it. Notice you do have players that you'll recognize from the NFL, and it's really cool because you have the ability to have four players playing together to take on another four players. If you have a bunch of friends and you want to get together for a party event, this is a great option for you because of the 4v4 ability. It really makes this game different than the others. Next up is Revenge of the Shadow Ninja, sitting with mostly positive reviews, released on July 27th, brought to us by Two Cats as the developer and the publisher. It's basically a shadow style platformer adventure game where you play as a ninja, need to get through the stages, and really need to find your way across, well, the maps. Platformer type stuff, you know what I'm talking about here, guys. But this one is really fun and pretty brutal based on the death sequences that happen inside of the game. It's definitely gonna be a bit more of a challenging game. The graphics are really nice for what they are. Some people are really into these shadow style graphics. If you are, this game is right up your alley. Eternal Return is up next with mostly positive reviews. 49,000 of them has released on July 20th of this year. This is a free to play anime action style game that's set up as a MOBA. We know that anime as of late has been extremely popular with tons of different options for gameplay that have been releasing. This one though is one that's a little bit more unheard of, at least from a lot of people that watch this channel. The combat seems really fun. It has of course that really great anime style graphic that we love from these types of games. And it gives you a gameplay style, a PVP gameplay style, that's very addicting and gets a lot of people playing and continuing to play. As we can see, a lot of thought has gone into the world that the battles are gonna be taking place in. There's a lot of detail going into all of these. The colors are incredible. I absolutely love how everything looks. And it just is a really fun game that has a massive community that's really been supporting it. You have MOBA style combat mixed with anime. It's definitely and clearly a recipe for success. Next, we have Space Expedition with also very positive reviews released on July 17th. 
And what we're looking at here is an adventure platformer style game. This one in a pixelated universe, it looks a bit like Among Us characters here, but I do like that the platformer style takes us into some liquid environments as well. Basically, it's being categorized as a walking simulator, so it's a casual style platformer with 2D graphics. Born to Rise. This game dropped on July 11th and has very positive reviews. What we're looking at here is an action adventure style shooting game that really does look nice. It has some elements to it that remind me of a Ninja Gaiden style combat, which you're just about to see in a moment. As you can see, the combat looks fun, looks fast, and gives you a lot of opportunities to interact with the environment that moves around you. Different style, different take here on an action adventure shooter with a bit of platformer elements to it as well. Definitely something worth taking a look at if you're looking for something different from the norm. What are you guys playing right now? Whether it's on a mobile phone or on Steam itself or even on console, what's your favorite game that you're engaging with? today. Let me know in the comment section below. Introducing Cave Crawlers. This one released on July 10th, has very positive reviews, and is sitting inside of the action adventure and action roguelike world. You may notice this looks very much like a Minecraft style game. Well, as you can see, you're going to get that type of an experience if you're into that type of gameplay. If that's a style that you like, well, then this may be something that you enjoy yourself. Free to play, currently in early access, it's your chance to dive on in and see if this is something that you would enjoy playing on your own. Based on community reviews that all came back very positive, it looks like you would probably enjoy this one as well. And now we have Robo Squad Revolution. This one came back also with mostly positive reviews, releasing at the end of June. What we're looking at here is an early access arena shooter being a third person shooter. Arena shooters are fun because the combat is super fast. No need to go pick up all your weapons and find your way the way we do in a battle royale. Instead, you dive right into the arena and you get into combat. This game looks fun. And then we have Bucket Brawl. Sitting with mostly positive reviews, releasing back at the end of June, we have a casual action cartoon bucket fighter what you do inside of this game is you run around with your bucket and you try and knock it on the heads of your opponents and then knock them off the course very casual very cute very fun and i think a lot of work has gone into the actual aesthetic of the game i like it a lot sparky marky episode two released back at the end of june and what we're looking at here is a survival horror adventure game that is very cartoony. As we get from all of these survival horror style games, you're in a first person perspective and you are going to encounter things that may spook you along the way, like creepy creatures such as that one. This game is right up the alley for all you horror style fans. If you're not into that type of thing or don't like first person, this one might be a pass for you. One thing I'll say is the game does have some nice graphics. It looks better than most in the genre. And next up, we have Undawn. This is actually a game on mobile and on PC here on Steam. Beautiful game, tons of fun. And what we're looking at here is a massive multiplayer open world RPG survival game. Inside of this game, you'll be doing everything, including building your home, farming your crops, taking a bath, using the bathroom, and of course, shooting and killing demons as you try to survive inside of this world. This one here got mixed reviews, possibly because of the microtransactions within the game, but I have to say overall, this is a really fantastic free opportunity for you to dive into a survival game with tons of mini modes that are gonna keep you entertained as they get updated throughout the game. I predicted this to be one of the best survival games of the year. We'll see if the popularity agrees with that and well, if you do. King of Fate is a game that's based on real history. So if you're a history buff and someone that's into what went down honestly in the past, this could be a game that you enjoy. What we're looking at here is an adventure strategy style game that is in the RPG simulation realm. Some people may look at a game like this and say, it looks a little bit slow. It looks like it's not for me. And if you're someone that likes high action, fast impact type gameplay, this may not be for you, but if you're someone that's more into real-time strategy style games, this could be something worth taking a look at. Let me introduce all of you to Astra, Knights of Vita. This one is coming very soon. We should be getting it any day at this point in time. 
And this is an action JRPG, action RPG game. It's really difficult to say how the experience is gonna actually play out inside of the game. What we can look at right now are the combat mechanics. We can look at the graphics and art style within the game and if you like the genre itself. I will say the graphics here look a bit more drawing-like than many other things that we've seen in other games, but maybe that's something that you vibe with and that you actually like. Character models seem good. They do seem to move a little bit more like puppets than like actual people, but we'll see how this one goes. If you have any experience with it further than I do, you could always let us know in the comments section below. And to close out the list here today, we have Marvel Snap. And now no, this one isn't the newest of releases. This one's been out for a minute, but it's one that is the card battler of choice of many gamers, both on mobile and on PC. It's a card battler strategy game that is free to play and takes you into the Marvel Universe with stunning graphics and really awesome gameplay, especially for a game that's a card game. And oftentimes these things can be a little stale. Not here with Marvel Snap, fantastic game and massive in popularity. I foresee this being in esports very soon. If you guys enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel for daily videos, giving you guys the best games that you should play.